hi everyone so i have this mic um i'm sorry if i use it incorrectly and it sounds like someone is dying um i will try to do my best to not move it around so it makes weird no noises but i cannot promise anything so um I guess you've read the title and you know what I'm going to talk about. Uh, anyways, I will say it again uh, in case you forgot or whatever, or you're listening to me like a podcast. Although you will have to like look at the screen at some point because I have this beautiful setup and the light is pink and I will show you my vinyl records and that is actually the video that I'm going to uh, make today because I bought a vinyl player, vinyl record player, I don't know how to call it, but yeah, I will show it to you and I will show you some uh, vinyls that I bought and that I listen to um, probably on a daily basis and yeah, that's the entire video basically i hope you like it i hope that it's interesting because the records are not like too obvious because i bought them on like sales and whatever uh they're second hand or maybe third hand at this point but i really like them and yeah that's the video let's get into it and i hope you like it all right so um first of all uh, i bought this record player like um I guess in December, like at the end of December, and the first thing I did buy uh, that was in second hand was Lord, Pure Heroin. Uh, I listened to this album since I was like 14 or 15, I'm not sure when, but um, it changed me as a human and it made me a better person or maybe a worse person. But I really wanted to listen to it and it comes with like, oh, I need help because I'm holding this mic. Uh, give me a second. So basically you open it and yeah, there are some things and the vinyl itself and some kind of like, I don't know how to call it. It's basically like a big book or a booklet with some uh, lyrics and yeah, that probably sounded weird. Uh, with some lyrics and some pictures of Ella or Lord. Um, the thing is that uh, when I bought this, uh, I was very lucky. So I bought this um, vinyl and mm, not most, but maybe like a half of all the... Well, that's most. Um, half of all the songs are broken because the vinyl itself is not like in a perfect state although i bought it new so it was very disappointing to get this and was like my first purchase and it cost a lot um and it was kind of sad so i listened to it for some time but i don't really listen to it that much because it's broken most songs are not uh playable so yeah that is how I started my um, vinyl journey, let's call it like that. Uh, but then my friend told me a very genius thing that she does with her vinyls. Uh, she says that she doesn't really buy things that she listens to normally, like on her phone. Uh, she just buys things that she wouldn't listen to otherwise. And I decided to do the same because first of all, it's cheaper and like i'm not about to spend a million on vinyls because if i'm being honest the sound is not like that different if you listen to the same songs perhaps in some uh vinyl on some vinyls but um if i can listen to it on my phone uh it's only it only makes sense to buy vinyls if i want to like collect them and right now i'm not sure if i want to collect them because uh they take a lot of space and a lot of money as well so i kind of decided to listen to her advice and i started buying like secondhand vinyls uh and the vinyls that were kind of older by the singers and musicians that i don't really listen to and i also started buying classics because i mean you have to listen to classics on vinyl i think that's um something that you must do uh, so the first one, I guess one of the first ones, is Mozart. Uh, these are just some symphonies and I like them a lot. The 
it looks like that it's very pretty uh they're just fun to listen to classics like i mentioned um i'm not going to say much because i don't know much about them but i listen to them and i like them so that's it uh then i have mendelssohn some kind of symphony here as well a very cute picture of him being like an orchestra conductor being in the moment he looks very uh, interested in whatever he's doing i don't know why you need that information by the way but yeah like it very much um then i have this like i don't know how to call him in whatever language i don't know where to put the stress like verdi requiem whatever uh there are two vinyls um i guess because there are so many long songs because it's kind of like it's not a symphony but it's classical music and there's a lot of things to get through so yeah but i like it it's a fun listen then uh, my friend gave this this to me uh for my birthday uh basically it's chopin i'm not sure how to read it but it's uh some kind of like piano playing stuff uh, classical music with an orchestra uh, it's a fun listen. It's classics. You cannot really go wrong with classics because they're enjoyable and they put you in a certain mood. Then I bought this Paul McCartney uh, vinyl, but the thing is, I didn't really check what they put inside of this gorgeous thing. And it's not Paul McCartney, I have to tell you. It's some kind of Paul Anka? I'm not sure. And this guy is from Bulgaria, but um, the record says that it's Paul McCartney. So it's a fun thing. I bought it and then I looked at uh, the musician and I was shocked. But yeah, what do you expect for like 100 rubles? Um, then I have... Oh, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, I like it. Uh, that's Helen Merrill. I have never listened to her besides on this vinyl, so uh, that's the kind of experience I'm talking about, something new. I really like her songs, she uh, sang some like covers, like my favorite things in The Sound of Music, and she also, I guess she has some original songs here as well, but I just really like this, and it's fun to listen to, and it's a nice, nice vinyl. Um, this one is also very good. I really liked it. Uh, I'm not sure how to call, to read her name correctly. Uh, it says Lindsay De Paul, I guess. And it, it sounds like a very nicely produced pop album. Um, of course, it's like the product, the product of its time. But I really like listening to it. To it. I paid uh, too much for the vinyl but it's a fun um record i like listening to it it's kind of romantic i guess you can tell by the cover but it's it's fun i like it uh what do we have here i don't remember listening to it ever but i i think i listened to it yeah um i bought it for five for like 50 rubles which is like the cost of like the tiniest the cheapest cup of coffee in russia so i guess i liked it because i listened to it but i don't remember much about it but yeah i bought it i guess i have it in my collection that's why i'm showing it to you uh, more classics hayden uh some kind of symphony uh i like it it's fun to listen to but it's classics so I'm not a huge fan of classics, I just like it. This one is my jam. I like listening to it so much. Uh, it's an orchestra kind of thing, um, but it's very uh, romantic, jazzy, I would say. And there, I don't know any names of these songs because it's just jazz and orchestra and whatever but it's very romantic it's very you know it's good to listen to um in the evening it puts you in a certain kind of mood um i like it very much i don't know how i found it i just saw the cover 
and I was kind of like intrigued and I bought it and I really like listening to it. So it's one of my favorites. Um, then one of the purchases that I made like a week ago, I'd say, is um, Diana Ross. Um, it was kind of expensive, uh, but I really like the songs and I've never listened to Diana Ross before. I have to admit, I'm not that... I don't know much about music. Uh, I mean, like, musicians. But I really like uh, everything that I have on here. Um, I like the songs. I like the... I like how she sings it. I like the production. So I'm definitely a fan now. And this was produced, I guess, in Motown? Or it was licensed by Motown. But yeah cute thing. Um, then I have Tchaikovsky, but I have to admit I haven't listened to it. It's some kind of like uh, opera, so I haven't started listening to it, but it's the entire thing, I guess. No, it's not the entire thing, it's just part of like the opera. But I wasn't sure whether I would like it because I have never actually listened to it, so I just... I didn't really pay too much attention to it. I just like collecting like classic stuff because it's fun to listen to. Um, what's that? All right. Well, this one I I don't think I have listened to it yet because I bought it just like a few days ago. But uh, there is like some kind of. I guess those are some, uh, how do you call them, like covers uh, of like Presley and um, who was there? Yeah, I guess there is a cover by Presley or of Presley probably. Um, I just like collecting things, I guess. I like the cover, first of all. Then I looked at like the songs that they have here and um, I saw that they were in English. And I thought that I'd probably like to listen to them, so I bought it. Yeah, not thinking too much. Um, this <laughs> this is a fun guy. He looks very serious. Um, his name is James Last, and the record is called Nonstop Dancing, 1976. Uh, but he looks like he doesn't really dance that much. Uh, that's why I decided to buy it, because it was so funny to me. Um, all the songs are in English, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but I listened to them, and they were fun. They were like dancing stuff material. Um, yeah, dancing material. Um, I just liked it. Yeah, it's a fun record. Not that um like i wouldn't listen to it every day but it's fun to listen to anyways then i got this dean reed um record i have never heard of him he's probably very fucking famous and i've never heard of him but uh, i saw a lot of records uh, by him in this shop that i went to and I thought that he was probably famous and I had to listen to his songs. And they were in English, so I thought that I would probably enjoy them. Um, I listened to them and there are some songs in Spanish and in Italian as well. And they are fun. And in some songs he preaches um, some very interesting things. But I liked it. I liked it very much. And I feel like James Reed is a fun guy. I don't know much about him, but he's probably fun. Uh, New Seekers. Uh, in Russia, I don't know why, but they also put like the name in Russian. And it's not even a translation, it's just like a transliteration in Russian. So it looks fun. But they translate the names of like songs and whatever. Um, I got this record again a few days ago. Um, I really like it. I listened to it, um, I guess, yesterday. I'm just reading the titles of the songs. Uh, I didn't get it yesterday, just a few days ago. Uh, but those are fun. They are like pop, something that you would expect from pop. They're in English. I like it. It's a fun thing to have. 
And the last thing, I actually listened to it just now before starting uh, to record the video. Um, this is some kind of record by Metro, I guess. Uh, I bought it because it says here that it's in Spanish and I wanted to listen to some music in Spanish because I'm learning Spanish as well. So there are some songs and I really like them. They're fun to listen to. They're in Spanish. They're like, um, they have this Spanish sound that you expect from a Spanish record. So I, I really enjoyed it. Although I guess I listened to only one part or two. I don't remember. So, um, as you can see, I didn't tell you much about those records because I don't know much about them, but I did enjoy them, uh, or will enjoy them if I listen to them. I will probably listen to them because that's insane. How do you buy records and not listen to them? I have around 19 here. I counted before uh, starting to record. So 19 records in like two or three months is insane. Uh, I should probably stop buying records, but they are very cheap. Like, um, most of them I bought for a price of, like, a coffee, a very small one at that. And, um, yeah, I really like them. That's a fun experience to have some kind of vinyls uh, around and to listen to them when you have the time and you want to be in some kind of mood. Uh, those are probably not that expensive. I mean, uh, they're not probably to how do you say that i just it, it gets harder for me to speak after some time they're probably not that unique uh and they're not like collector's items because i bought them very cheaply in a shop where people don't really go but um i like them they're fun to listen to uh they didn't cost me much and because it was the first record um vinyl that i bought um it was broken even though i paid so much for it so i thought that i might as well spend my money on something that is actually going to work and all of these i think they would probably come to uh, cost the same as the one that I bought the first time. So all of those uh, vinyls didn't really cost that much. Um, I mean, I just, I could only buy one record with it. So think what you want, but I like uh, listening to vinyls and I really like this. I hope that I stop buying them because I guess I have um, enough for the time being. Uh, I will probably buy more. Uh, let me know if you like this video. Maybe some of those are actually very famous and I have never heard of them, but I like all of them, so I'm a fan. Um, let me know what you do with your vinyls. Maybe you buy some cheap ones as well, or you try to buy the things that you would like to collect and the things that you listen to on a daily basis. That would be interesting to listen to your uh, ideas as well. Thank you very much for watching this um, video. I hope you liked it. I hope that it made your day better for some reason. I don't know. Maybe you like looking at, at uh, vinyls. Uh, who knows? Um, if you have anything that you would like me to talk about, you can also uh, leave a comment down below. I will probably answer it in a while. And that's it. Uh, thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye.